everyone. This is Renee from Tippy.com, and I am here with Ord Miller of ODM Tech, and he is showing us a PH reader for the iPhone. That's right, Renee. This is, uh, this is the ODM PH interface for the iPhone. It plugs into the dock connector of an iPhone or iPod, and on the other end has a DNC connector which fits any standard PH electrode. Once it's connected, you can turn it on, fire up the uh, pH meter app. So that's a, an app you can get in the App Store? That's right. It's available for free on the App Store. And we put the, put the electrode in some water, and it'll give us a reading of the pH. Now, this is intended for use in the field for people who are testing groundwater, well water, things like that in, in locations where they need to know the value of the pH, they need to know when the reading was taken, they need to know where it was taken. And the iPhone is a perfect unit for that with its uh, built-in GPS. So we record the reading, we tap on the screen, and hit save here. Now we've recorded that reading. Later I can go back, take a look at the reading, and I can see the value of it, the temperature, the uh, data was taken, where it was taken, the coordinates that it was recorded at, and any comments that I'd entered. It would also let me know about the more, when the sensor was calibrated, the actual raw readings from the instrument in millivolts, uh, ambient temperature, process temperature if it's available. Now because pH is a temperature sensitive measurement, the, the unit accepts also a temperature probe. So, this is specifically for pH. I couldn't use this on my holiday turkey. I wouldn't recommend using this <laughs> on your holiday turkey. <laughs> so I'll plug in the uh, temperature sensor, drop that into my water here, and now I'm getting here uh, a reading of the temperature of the solution that I'm measuring. The other display is an ambient temperature from a, a sensor that's inside this. People who don't who don't have a temperature probe can use the ambient temperature okay. for calibration, or they can, if they like, they can enter in a standard temperature. Okay. And it'll display in Kelvin, in Fahrenheit, whatever. But obviously with the temperature reader you get a much more accurate... That's right. For, for cases where people really need to know, you know, down to two decimal places what the pH is, they'll want to use a separate temperature probe. There are also pH electrodes with the temperature probe. So, just as an example, I have here some lemon juice, a few drops there, shake it up, and then I see right away that my, my reading changes. So it's great to know if you've already put lemon juice in your iced tea. Yeah, yeah. it's not just for uh, government use, you can use it no. at home. You can, this could, it's also intended for use by uh, swimming pool technicians, people who go around from house to house. This way they're sure that their, their pH is being tested where they need it to test it, they keep a record of it. It's useful for people doing maintenance on aquariums as well. Nice. We'd also like to see this used uh, in schools. Basically every student can have the app loaded on their own personal iPod or iPhone, and they can have one shared sensor for the whole classroom yeah. and using experiments. And maybe for field teams, because the iPhone is probably a way better interface than anything that they have been issued by their, you know, research company. Right. Well, the, you know, the devices that this compares to, first of all, they're much larger, they don't have data logging capabilities, yeah. and they don't have any GPS capabilities. So the field technicians right now, they have to have a separate instrument, they have to record the values from their instrument into their logbook, they have to make a note about the time, date place where they were, bring that back to an office, have someone type it in and hope no mistakes were made along the way. When they're using it, uh, the ODM pH meter app here, they can take the readings and they can just take those all, send them by email, and it arrives at the destination with all the readings as a CSV file. Nice. So they can be directly imported into whatever application on the desktop side. So you can run all your analytics on them. That's right. One thing also that makes this, this device different from other pH instruments on the market, there's no battery or 
a power source in the interface itself. It's all powered by the iPhone. So there's no question of having to separately charge up your instrument or, or get batteries for it. You know, I designed this because I have a well and I have a pond on my property and all of a sudden water started to become very <laughs> important to me. <laughs> and I knew that if I had an instrument that needed separate batteries... You'd never charge them. I'd never charge them. Every time I wanted to be used, them, I'd either be charging it or trying to find batteries. Then you'd be I too lazy, you wouldn't do it. I wanted something that I could just pick up, plug into my iPhone, go out to the pond, check the water, and come back in. So that's, that's where the idea for this came from. Nice. Nice. So is this available now? Is this coming soon? Well, we've just, we've just had this approved for sale. So we'll be starting to sell them in the next two weeks. We're working out our packaging details, and we'll start accepting pre-orders as early as next week. Nice. And if they want to find out more about it, where can they look? They can find out about it on the ODM Technology website. That's www.odmtech.com. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Art. Thanks, Renee.